Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now as you know food is my first love and I'm not one of those people that usually geeks out about the latest tech but when it comes to food and tech I am in heaven. I love appliances so so much. I just use them every single day so I've teamed up with Bosch to show you inside my fridge all the food that I've got and also the appliances that I use in my everyday life. So here it is, my fridge in its full glory. Now this is a Vita Fresh fridge, which means it keeps all my food fresher for twice as long than a regular fridge, which is great because I eat so much fresh produce. When I go to the shops, I pretty much go to the fresh food aisle and that will be 80% of my food and then maybe 20% is some grains and nuts and seeds and other bits and bobs. But on the whole, I love to get an array of vegetables and fruits, lots of really yummy, colourful foods, Mediterranean style foods. So at the top, we'll start top bottom, I think that's the way we're going to do it. So we've got some strawberries here and then some melon and papaya. So I kind of keep my fruit and veg in separate sections, which just keeps it fresher for longer. I like to put put my strawberries, my blueberries and my raspberries in little containers. They're really great snacks for Shay. I try and give him finger food as much as possible to help him understand how to eat and feed himself. So these are like ready to go for him to eat. I've also got some carrot sticks cut up fresh which are really nice crudités to munch on as a snack. Um, I've got loads of different vegetables. I really like and try and buy a variety of vegetables. So I've got a purple carrot. Now I've got normal carrots as well, but this is purple carrot, which actually has even more nutrition in it than a regular carrot. It's less sweet, a bit more earthy um, and quite purple. So it does stain your fingers, but it's super cool. It looks great in pictures. Um, and then we've got red pepper. We've got some broccoli, some sprouting broccoli, some fresh lemon. I adore putting lemon on absolutely everything. It's a good source of vitamin C. Um, it's really good if you're like getting a flu or a cough. I always squeeze lots of fresh lemon into some tea with some honey, which is really yummy. Um, and then down here, we've got some red cabbage, mushrooms, tomatoes, um, and then we've also got some sweet potato. And then in um, the vegetable drawer, we've got some uh, spinach, um, some potatoes, uh, some beetroot, some onions. Um, and this is humidity control, so you can just move it from left to right based on what humidity you want. So it's lower humidity for fruit and higher humidity for vegetables. So I like to marinate fish and meat in the fridge. I've marinated this salmon in some lemon, some olive oil, really Mediterranean flavours. And then I'll just pop it in my Bosch oven on the steam setting. And that just steams the fish so it keeps all the nutrients in there while giving it this fresh plump taste, which I just love. So on the top shelf, we've got lots of condiments. So these are my kind of go-to ones, miso paste. And I've got two types of miso paste. I've got a more sweet white miso paste and the brown rice miso paste. I am like miso's biggest fan. If miso had a fan base, I would be the leader of the pack. That is how much I love miso. I put it on everything, I'll smear it over fish. I will just whack loads of veggies in a pan, saute them off and put it with rice noodles. Um, I'll just pour it into some stock um, and then put some like buckwheat noodles on top or something like that. Just It just goes with everything. It's salty, it's yummy. It's kind of, you don't need anything else with it. It's like all the seasoning in one. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed. And then we've got some whole grain mustard. We've got some capers, harissa, another favorite. I'd say it goes miso and then second harissa as um, my favorite kind of sauces and condiments that I put on things. Next draw down, we have got some pesto, some Cavallo Nero, I can never say it, Cavallo Nero uh, black kale pesto. I mean, pretty epic. It's made with cashew nuts, it's vegan, um, it's really yummy, it's quite rich, so I only use a little bit of it, but it's just, again, really great having these things like miso, harissa, pesto in the fridge, because when you look in the fridge and you just see you've got some leftover vegetables, you can just cook them up with these sauces and instantly it just transforms it. So then we've got some kefir, which is a fermented yogurt. Yogurt has been something that's used in the Mediterranean diet forever. It's rich in probiotics, so really good for your gut health. 
So I try and have one of these every day and I give Cher a little spoonful as well to boost his immune system. Um, we've got some Koyo, some uh, natural coconut yogurt, which is thick and creamy, really good for dessert. I really like making a tiramisu with it, where I'll layer some yogurt um, with some sprinkles of espresso on it, lots of fruit. So it's like a really yummy sort of trifle tiramisu that I can just dig into when I need a little bit of a sweet treat. I've also got um, a daily probiotic. So it's got 50 billion um, strains of bacteria in it and I'll take that every morning on an empty stomach. So my routine in the morning would be to wake up, have a glass of water um, at room temperature and then take my probiotic in the morning. It's good to take it on an empty stomach and then about half an hour later I will tuck into some breakfast. So on the bottom drawer I've got some coconut milk. Um, and I love having some plant-based milk in the fridge to make smoothies. I also love making my own. It is so simple. I always make cashew milk, which is just soaking cashews in water. And then I blend them together and then strain them off. And then you have cashew milk. It's literally that simple. I'll put the recipe all down below, but I really recommend making it at home. It just tastes so fresh and delicious. We've also got some liquid aminos, which is a bit like soy sauce. It's gluten-free, it's salty, it's yummy. You put it in all Asian food. You don't even have to put it in Asian food. You can just put it in food in general. Um, and then I've got a smoothie here, which is a kefir smoothie. It's got coconut in it, it's got apples, it's got spinach. It's just really yummy to have something instant ready to go. And then I've also got some chicken stock. So I love cooking with chicken stock. It's really flavoursome. It's rich in collagen. It's the thing that you need when you're feeling a bit run down. So that's there ready to cook with stews. I just like having it fresh and I know that it will just instantly transform any dish. Another thing I always have in the fridge is energy balls. So I like to make them by blending pecans, ground almonds, dates, a little bit of raisins, some coconut oil together, and then I roll them into balls and I store them in the fridge. So when I have that dip at 4 p.m. and I feel like I need a little snack, they're there ready for me to munch in. They're delicious, they're easy, they're packed full of good fats, and they fill you up because there's lots of fiber in the dates, so they don't give you that massive sugar spike like having a chocolate bar. They kind of give you that energy to get you through till dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna come down and squat for you while I show you my freezer, because it's, it's good to be squatting. Freezer, top drawer. This is an interesting one. You might not do this, but I love to freeze ginger. Now, ginger is one of those things you buy, and unless you're like a ginger fiend, often you end up using a little bit and then it starts shriveling right it gets all shrivelly shrivelly this is the key way to stop it being shrivelly because you can just get it out you can chop off a bit or I just literally get it out and grate it into whatever I'm making and then chuck it back in the freezer so I think that we should be putting things like chilli garlic ginger in the freezer because it's sometimes something that we use a little bit and then we waste it and I'm all about cutting down food waste and I think your freezer is your biggest friend for cutting down food waste now this is not just any freezer, this is a no frost freezer. Very special. Right, let's get stuck in. So this drawer, I've got lots of frozen berries. I've got frozen blueberries. I've got acai. I've got strawberries. I've also got a bit of cheeky ice cream because it's not about being 100% healthy. You didn't think you'd see that, did you? I like to have these berries in here to chuck into smoothies. It kind of makes the smoothie nice and cold. Um, it keeps them fresh. You know, in summer, berries are in season. So grab them, pick them. Just get amongst them and chuck them in your freezer so you've got them for winter time. Um, because I find buying fresh berries in winter is just not a good thing. Keep, go frozen with that. So in this drawer, I've got some meat. I get a meat box delivery and then I put everything in the freezer, I'll freeze it and then I'll just get it out when I need. I like to source my meat from the best places. I use a company called Field and Flower or Abel and Cole to source my meat. I really like using grass-fed, grass-finished, organic when I can meat. Um, and then I'll pop it all in the freezer and just use it when I can. I don't often cook with meat, maybe once or twice a month, but when I do, I always use the best quality. And then I've got um, lots of Shay's food in here that I've just, I made a big um, lentil curry and I've just frozen it and I just put them in little glass pots in the freezer for days when I get home with Shay and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have anything to make you. I got these. And then the final drawer, I've got bread, which I freeze. Now I know that's kind of strange, but our family, we don't eat that much bread. So I like to have it frozen, literally just grab a slice out, pop it um, 
into the to into the what? Into the toaster. That's how you toast toast. <laughs> and I just think having it in the freezer makes such a difference because you don't go through bread too quickly. I think when you've got a loaf out, you're like, well, I'll, I'll just have another slice. I'll have another slice. So when it's in the freezer, you just you grab it when you want to. Oops, I've got to shut that door. I hope you've enjoyed looking around my fridge. I love looking at other people's fridges. I think it tells you a lot about what's in their fridge when you go to someone's house. You're like, I can see it. I can see what you like eating. <laughs> anyway, leave me a comment down below on what you like to put in your fridge because I love to know what people put in their fridges because I'm someone that doesn't put eggs in the fridge. Some people put eggs in the fridge, you know. I think people have different ways of doing their fridges. So I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't and I'll see you next time. Bye.